joining me for another lesson of advanced tier. In this lesson, we will do the output from the model that we created in the last seven lessons. We start by selecting the drawing process. A drawing process is a sequence of steps that starts with the 3D model and ends with the deliverable that we need. The default processes that comes with the system has got four categories for the UK standard. For other standards, there are other categories. Let's start off by looking at the parts category. Let's do a drawing of all the parts in our 3D model. For our parts drawing, we are going to select all single parts. Once we select OK, the system will automatically create drawings for all the single parts detail. The system is now generating the drawings as I am speaking to you. You can see that the command line has no commands when the generation is completed. To view the drawing, we use the document manager. You can see three subfolders in the document manager. The details will consist of all the drawings. And you can see we have created about 10 drawings when we process a single part. Let's open one of them. In the drawing, there are many views. These views are advanced views which you can modify using the advanced properties. One of the things that you can change in the view is the view scale. For this case, let's change the view scale to 1 is to 20. The Label and Dimension tab consists of functions to modify 2D drawings. We can use the function in this tab to enhance the clarity of the drawing. We can insert labels. We can enhance the dimensions. These dimensions are intelligent and they will be updated automatically when the drawing is updated. Let's go back to the model view and produce more drawing. This time let's do an assembly drawing. We can select the assembly that we want to produce or the main part that we want to produce or we can actually select all main parts to produce all the assembly at one go. Once you select OK, the system will start generating the assembly drawings. The duration of the generation is at real time. So this is how fast the system can generate drawing. It's done now. Let's use our document manager to look at our assembly drawings. Let's select an assembly drawing that we have produced. The assembly drawing consists of the assembly as well as the individual parts in detail.
let's insert a well symbol for this assembly drawing. The well property can be defined in the well symbol properties. Let's insert a bit of material in our assembly drawing. We use the detail list. We select the components to be included in the list. We select the location of where to place the list. And lastly, we will select the list that we want. The template for the list is now in the drawing. We will now update the list. We will create some projection view using the cameras that we created. Let's create some level marker in the model. This level marker will be applicable for all the drawings that we create. We can go through the properties of the level marker and change the property accordingly. We continue to create level markers for two more levels. Let's select the camera category in the process drawing palette. Let's remind ourselves where these cameras are. Before we generate drawing for the camera view, I'm going to change the star of the drawing process. This will override the star that is with the drawing process. The stars will determine the appearance of the annotation and the elements in the drawing. Advanced Tears comes with many different stars. Now we are going to use the Camera Overview AO to create drawings for all the cameras or just the two cameras in our model. Let's use the document manager and we can open the camera view drawing that we just created. You can see that the two camera views are in our drawing and you can also see the level marker in the drawing.